Welcome to this HP 1000 A990 museum. The model A990 was the most advanced and most powerful of all the HP 1000 real-time computers HP ever made. It was introduced in the year 990, you could buy it until about year 2000, and it was supported by HP until 2005. But several of the machines you see here in the background has been working in big application also in 2011. I have uh, seven HP 1004 model A990, two model, the minor model A400, and one very old 2114A. But before we are looking on these machines, let us take a look at the marketing material HP sent out when they introduced the model A990. Here you see a map of overheads, HP real-time executive, and here a six-page brochure, the better way to meet the technical computer needs. So, let us take a look. One of these overhead pages illustrates the HP 1000 evolution from 66 to 990, as you see here. The 2114 was one of the earliest HP 1000 from 66 to 68. It had typical 8 or 16 kilobyte ferry coil memory. Then came the M series. It had semiconductor memory and it also got a mapper system. Then the M to L series and then the A series from 82 to 990. The HP 1000 A serial model all use the same type of the new I.O. controller card and we also got a new operating system. A group of software people called the Lapra Group, we work with all the HP 1000 model indicate with the arrows shown. In this overhead you see the evolution of the real-time executive software and the HP application software. The software was improved and improved and improved. It was fantastic. Using the new hardware facilities in the HP 1000 computer. We will look at some of these improvements later. The Lapka group has been working with the RTE system marked with the arrows starting with the HP 1000 M system with RTE 3, seen on this picture. It had a byte memory and a 5 megabyte on disks. A few years later, the system was updated to a model A600 and to RTE A, a system which just was introduced at that time by HP. HP was really focusing on HP 1000 and real-time computing, as you've seen from this front page to the right, a marketing brochure from 87. But what is real-time? Very short. Real-time computing relates to response time. That is how fast does the computer respond on an external event. In this overhead, also for the introduction of the A990, HP marked the blue area which type of application the HP 1000 is suitable for and which response time you can expect. Application typical like process control is OK and response time is around 100 milliseconds. Perhaps you wonder what if the computer is busy with some other real-time jobs and there is only a limited amount of computer power and time. And how does the system and the programmer handle these problems in a real-time system? We will look into that later. This picture to the left is from the front page of the brochure, also for the introduction of the A990. 
it is stated that there are over 150,000 HP worldwide. Very nice to know you are not alone. Inside on page 3 that HP will support the HP 1000 to at least 2010. 20 years. Nice HP optimist. Amazing in the 90s. But HP stopped supporting the HP 1000 in 2005, but the lab group supported the A990 six years more until 2012. On page 2 picture here from the same brochure, you can see the different HP 1000 A serial models. Notice Look here, the I.O. bandwidth is almost the same from the smallest to the largest model, approximately 4 megabytes per second. But if you look at the memory cycle, the time goes from 454 down to the A400 to 78 nanoseconds for the A990, a factor almost 6. In fact, the A990 could execute up to 50 million instructions per second and could execute up to 1 million floating point instructions per second. Notice this at the bottom, very important, the language line. The same program runs on the small, cheap A400 as a small, powerful and expensive A990. And you also don't have to change the application code. You might have to relink your programs before executing. The linker can automatically exchange the entry point. So for example, floating point hardware is used on the A90, while the software equivalent is used on the A400. Now I have told a little bit history about the HP 1000 based on the marketing material from 990. Well, what might be more important is the documentation about the system itself. For what is a computer system without documentation? And I have the documentation for the RTE system over here and here. And there are also a few hardware manuals. I have a better photo here. Here you see a better picture of all the manuals. There are a few hardware manuals about the A990 and some of the I.O. controller cards. But mostly it's RTE A manuals. As you can see I have put some labels of some of them. I should say it is very very nice manuals. It describes the system in details. And we have never been able to build a system, which I will describe later on, if we haven't had this nice type of detailed information about the system. You can find several of these manuals on the internet. I turned the power off at the back, so there's not so much noise in the room anymore but I will certainly turn it on again at a later stage. I would like to tell you a little about the idea with these videos. Because most video you find on the internet about the HP 1000, you will see people showing the system, booting the system, showing maybe the editor, the compiler, the linker, and even some features of the operating system. I will try to do the same, but I will also like to tell you a little about how the system has evolved from the 70s to 2012, a period of 40 years. But of course my knowledge is limited. I have been involved in designing, in programming and supporting both the hardware and the operating system but it has been related to only one, only one application, which was called LAPCA. So what is LAPCA? Yeah, LAPCA is an IT system for hospital labs. It was running on, running on the HP 1000. It was supporting 50 hospitals, small hospitals and big hospitals, big university hospitals with thousands of beds. 
it was producing about 50 million analytical results per year. And it was running for about 33 years. It was installed on the HP 1000 M series in the beginning, then the A series, then the A400, then the A900, and at last the A990. But I'll tell you about that later. A story as this must have the beginning, and I have divided the beginning into three parts. A. About the HP 2114A, a computer from 69 with 60 kilobyte of memory, a computer we bought and used in 73. B. A giant leap forward to the HP 1000M R3E3, a computer with an advanced real time operating system. See then a description of the IT laboratory system so you can see the connection between the system facility in the HP 1000 and the operating system and the task the system has to perform and also how big the system could be both on the hardware and on the application side. But which of the many facilities to highlight to get a better understanding of this connection? I will focus on the facility which came along as the HP 1000 involved, some features which I find special important for design, development and support. After this beginning I will boot the HP 1000 A990 and present more technical details both about the hardware, the operating system and also the method used to increase the demanding requirements. If you are only interested in the HP 1000 RT3 RTA, then skip to the A. And if you are not interested in why and how the HP 1000 feature was important, both for the design, use and performance and support of the HP 1000 real-time based system, then skip chapter B and C and go directly to start booting the HP 1000 A99 chapter. <laughs> 